But I do have something very interesting called There Was the Moon. Before I start this up, I want to tell you what this is. Because this is going to be one of those slow contemplative things. So if you're looking for more like E or crazy or just like rapid fire games in a row, I don't have that for you right now. That you have to wait for. This is one of those weird, you walk around and discover strange things kind of games that looks really nice. So... That's a good looking moon. You could say the moon is right. So I'm gonna um, just tell you I got sent this game by the developer because I had played a previous game of theirs and uh, they liked my stream of it and wanted me to check it out. So I looked around, I saw the video, I'm like, hmm. So a few years ago, I played a game from Ben called Other Side, which uh, I remember. I'll give you an example if you want to see what Other Side looked like. Anyone remember this? Because I do. This had some really weird fractal visuals. It was just a strange, strange game. Um, I'd recommend checking it out if you like weird walking simulators. I don't, I don't mean to be derogatory towards games that where you walk around, but that's what, that's what we lovingly call them here. Uh, anyway, this game is just um, another similar type game, and it has a horror and kind of like a existential dread to it. And I will say no more. There was the moon. I like this. We open our doors to you on this eternal night. Let me tell you, while I was on vacation, the moon was almost full, and it was massive. And it was really bright outside of the light pollution. Under the moon's gaze, you may enter. Going to a place, um, even a couple hours outside New York, where there's less light pollution, like up in a mountain. I was like, yo, why is this moon so right? Alright, here we go. Monolith stands still in the deep dark water, breathe deeply as the bell rings, but steal yourself for when it ends, penance begins. Let's take a look. Now sensitivity. Uh, Alright. One second. Did I get a chance to see the comet? Neo-wise? No. Are you getting weird frame rates, chat? Desperate to dream again, the wanderer sets their garden ablaze. Red wattle, foxglove, and bark of shitta. What? The makeshift incense burns his nostrils as he conjures visions of a moonlit palace. I think it's... It's kind of shitty for Nary. It's shitta for Nary, but not for, um... Not for me. It looks it looks like I'm getting 60 frames a second. I love the lighting. It's like a soft kind of glow. Just, you know what? Kind of, kind of get a little bit of like a Kubrick feel. So, so the way this is lit. I watch The Shining whilst alone in a hotel uh, in a mountain. I- alone, as in, like, you know, in my hotel room alone. Oh. Uh, obviously the hotel was filled. And it was the best time I've ever watched The Shining. Kind of also getting a little bit of a Yodorowsky vibe to this. I have crossed the holy mountain horizontally. I, 
kind of want to stay at the Overlook Hotel chat. The Shining is only scary the first time. The rest is on, is very fun, says a chat member. I think I can agree with that. I, I saw The Shining when I was like nine. And it scared the fuck out of me. And now that I'm older, there's other things that scare me about The Shining. There's um the whole like fucked up like neglect and you know there's this the dread and the mental illness of Jack that as an adult I didn't see when I was younger. I'm looking at it now and I'm like, oh fuck. There's something really, really wrong about the whole movie. <laughs> it's not just the dude running around with the axe. There's a there's a lot of stuff going on in that movie that that's just terrifying, but it, it's it's a scary movie. Let's put it that way. But it is certainly cinematically kind of amazing. That's kind of fun. How the hell do you read messages that long with the chat going so fast? I, I kind of don't. I just get lucky sometimes. the sand of the summer. These glowing halls of mine, vicious concrete and syrup gold. I believe, yeah, they used a different exterior for The Shining. Um, the interior and exterior are, are, are different, if I'm not mistaken. Some really interesting lighting. Have you ever seen Doctor Sleep? Yeah, recently. It was alright. I, I liked a lot of it. I thought it was... Low expectations... Make it better. But there's a lot of stuff in that... Movie... That I liked. I just, um, I found out that the book ending was different. And I liked that book ending a lot better. So... Stare deep enough into the heart of anything and you will learn its true nature. You may even find it staring back at you. Deep into that darkness peering. Bungie? Ah, a new Chosen has finally arrived. Very well. I'm sorry to tell you that the vault below will reject your current condition. The seas were unkind to you and have left you dull and hazy. Clear your mind and bathe first. I'll be right here as I have been for a millennia. This place is a gateway, a peculiar one at that. No, excuse me, no one has passed through in a very long time. The fuck? Excuse me? What does God need with a starship? God needs you, Mr. Shatner. To tweet more. All right. I wish to bathe. Please. Please bathe. I need a, a what? A bathing card? Why am I just listening to this chat member? As if they have played this game. Have you played this game, chat member? They might have. I don't even... 
even know if this game is out yet. You know who's really good in The Shining? Like, everyone is very good. All the performances are great. But Scatman Crothers, I just wanted to point out, that dude is phenomenal. I mean, they're all good, but I, I love his name, but I also, I love his performance so much. Like, I want to hang out with that dude, Dick Halloran. I thought uh, for sure Dr. Sleep was going to drop the ball with, with casting Dick Halloran, and they, they got someone to do a pretty good job. I was, I was kind of surprised. Generations of sorcerers were eradicated during the first war. They were humanity's last hope. Those who remain have hidden themselves in shadows. Place block. You hear a woman's labored breathing deep within the tunnel. Weak, so weak I am fading. The moon did not grant me her light tonight or any of the other nights I've attempted. My intentions were impure, now I am trapped. I've been here since the beginning of the cycle. I was sent here before you. This may help where I die. This may be where I die, but I will not go without a fight. Help me. I can focus the last of my energy with the help of the conduits. Can you, help fi can you find them? I'll try. I have to find a thing. Someone said, do you prefer psychological horror or do you prefer campy horror like Reanimator? Yes. I'm not the biggest horror movie buff, but... I mean, yeah. Reanimator's great. Anything, um, first of all, I, anything with, um, that actor. I know his name. I swear I know his name. He's in Star Trek. He plays Wei Yun. Jeffrey Combs. He's amazing. He, yes, he plays Brunt as well, uh, Ferengi. I think I'm going backwards. Chat, this is backwards, correct? Or is this a new... I believe I have to look for, like, stuff, so maybe that's okay. Let me just see what I can do. I'm gonna try to find as much stuff as possible while playing this game. And if I don't manage to finish it tonight, apparently it's about an hour. I might be able to finish it sooner, but the way- at the rate I'm going, uh, chances are this will never get done. You missed a door on the right in the hallway? Okay. There we go. Maybe this is the one. I love... I love the way this looks. I love the muted colors. It's so fucking weird. I want, like, I want to build one of these hallways. <laughs> Can I just have this hallway? Okay. Now I wonder if I have to place this in the pool. Donkey by the pool.
Let's see. It's either the pool or... Uh, there's another thing I have to do with this deck. I think it's probably the pool. And I'm wrong. I guess it's a coin slot. Don't forget to wear your coin gloves. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to play a chill game like this anyway because... I figured the, um... So I've been waking up early. I had a checkout time of... So... I had a checkout time of 10... on Thursday. Well, Friday morning. And then a checkout time of 11... And then 11. So... I'm not used to waking up... At those times. It's not that much earlier. I was fine with it. Someone said, you poor baby. You can eat every hot pepper... Known to mankind. And I would not be upset. Just have... Just have the hot peppers. But, uh... You know... I was worried that, uh, tonight, I would do my Sunday stream, and I would... I'd get real tired around, like... The... the... what is it? What's the... Zam? 2 a.m. is the Zam hour, right? Or is that Sam? So, essentially... I figured a chill game would be good on my first Sunday back, even though I, I was thinking about, like, possibly um, not streaming today. I, I just, as I said earlier, despite my best efforts, I have no choice but to uh, come back and do a Sunday stream. But that's the thing, like, I, I like the idea, like, first of all, I'm, I'm a weird person that likes to vacation alone. I have no problem with it. And I like the freedom to be able to just drive wherever the fuck I want. Just, oh, see a place? Stop there. Stay for the night. I ended up um, at Bethlehem, PA <laughs> last night with some of the Too Many Games people. Um, just had a little bit of dinner. And it was Music Fest. So Music Fest was apparently a huge thing. And it ended up being, um... Just a lot of outside street performers. Like, not street performers, like, you know, people playing music outside. Everyone was, like, eating and drinking outside. You know, for reasons. For obvious reasons. It was fun. It was nice. What about COVID? Well, that's the thing. That's where everyone was basically, you know, fucking 30 feet apart from each other. And uh, there was a lot of mask wearing. And I think people were mostly at least trying to be careful. I was. The whole time, I, every part of my vacation was me. Like, um, becoming a, a hand sanitizer slug. Well, I'm officially lost. That didn't take long. What do you do during the day? Well, on my vacation, I just, like, found... I found, um, parks to go for walks. I would drive around. I found a record shop. I bought a Queens of the Stone Age record. Um, mostly just stayed alone and chilled, and found, like, places to explore. Just looked on Google, if I would see a cool park or a location, I would just go there. Record shop in Allentown? No, 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 it Wilkes Bar. Take the dagger to the face. Well, I don't have the block. Uh, I am very confused.
Jonathan Frakes is from Bethlehem, PA? Oh. It's Wilkes Bear? Oh, okay. That's how you pronounce it. I was wondering. Which album did I buy? Villains. It was uh, on sale for 20 bucks. So I bought that and like a Led Zeppelin shot glass because I'm a fucking tourist. But like, asshole. But I didn't have that record, so I said, "Fuck it, let me let me grab that one." Um, yeah, I don't I don't know, chat. This game, as cool as it looks, I'm I'm already confused. Did I miss any doors? There's a huge PA North and South fight on the pronunciation of Wilkes Bar, Wilkes Bear. <laughs> Vinny, talk to the head again. Is Like Clockwork your favorite Queen's album? Um, uh, maybe. I think maybe Songs for the Deaf. The head's not here, chat. The head's now gone. Um, it's not here. <sighs> Songs would be my favorite if there were no annoying radio segments. I feel that. Sheets or Wawa? Wawa, please. That was like my sustenance for breakfast every, every day was Wawa. So yeah, Rated R, Songs for the Deaf, and Like Clockwork. I can't really choose between those three. Have you ever visited Philadelphia? Yeah, I drove through it. I mean, yeah, I mean, plenty of times for cheesesteaks and at various um, bar nights fucking 12 years ago. But uh, yeah, I like, I like Philly. Great! Kill it with your blood? I don't know how. Stare into the void and wait for the head to appear. What the hell, man? That didn't work. Stab the head? I don't have access to the knife. Like, I don't have an inventory. There's- there's no buttons that, you know, I can press. I read the description of the dagger a couple times. I don't really get it. This is the only other spot that I'm aware of. <laughs> well, this doesn't really um, bode well for Sunday stream anymore. I know many of us are working on this mystery together and trying to figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to do. But... 
Truly, I understand nothing. Place block. I, I have no block. <laughs> I don't have a block. One block is outside the birthing hall beside an arch. Everything you need is in the bathing room. You're missing things there, says a chat member. Okay. I'm gonna have that chat member, um... I really want to figure this game out now, because... I, I almost have a vendetta against it, so... I'm gonna check out this chat member's messages. They said they completed the game. And they know what to do, so I'm gonna try to, if I get stuck, refer to that character. On the plus side, I know where everything is. Alright, so these are not things I can interact with. Cock. They, they need to make that glow. Developer, can you make that glow? Or, like, make it a little bit more obvious? Maybe change the color of it? Anything? Long ago, humans committed a horrific act against our kind. Let these waters wash away the blood from your past. As the pact decrees, you are to receive the gift with pure hands. On this night, you will be reborn. I'm clean. I'm pure. That's me after I go into any place. Like, when I went into the flea market buildings, I would walk out of them, and I would g enter the cleaning apparatus, which was just a fuckload of hand sanitizer. Vinny, version 1.2 just released 55 minutes ago, adding various visual and audio cues for the collectibles. Says Neri. Okay. Shiny, happy people holding hands. You are cleansed. Good, the vault is below. The moon calls. Make haste. Well, I'll spend a little bit more time with the game. If I'm really getting stuck, I'll download the new version, but it would be me starting from the beginning, which sucks. <laughs> I, did... What? Did I? I'm gonna go that way soon, but I don't know if I just, like, sequence broke.
see now that that seems there's no way I did that twice. I don't think I'm sequence breaking by accident. I I mean maybe it's just an easy puzzle. The block has been obtained. If I can solve this, then these puzzles are bab. If I can't, then... I just should play the lotto. how to get past that one. So I think I just brute forced two other puzzles. The earlier two doors were like, were two in a row. This one's four in a row. Oh, so those two were easy. This one's difficult. All right. Every hundred years, a vessel is implanted in each delivered world. It is the duty of that world's keeper to ensure it is received. Now, I know everybody has a different idea of what Sunday stream should be. I think some people just like vomit. Some people like... You know, the, the rapid fire. Just game after game after game. Some people like DOS educational games. And I know there are people that like these slow, weird, contemplative... ...just walking simulator-esque strange games. I like shit like this a lot, and um, I don't mind focusing on this every now and then. But I get it if, you know, you're looking for something different. I try to do a little bit of variety every Sunday. Down, up, down. Ah, how did you know that was left three? Egg? Fine. I see the uh, colors over there. That's... So, we have to find... So, I'm brute forcing this, but there is... Whoa, whoa, whoa. There is a solution. And there's a way to solve this, too. Hang on a minute. Without, you know, brute force. So, green is up. Blue is down. We don't know what left and right are, but we... We have to surmise. And I wasn't paying attention. So, green is up, blue is down. Green is up, blue is down. Left is red. Oh, that, that makes sense. So, so down, up, down, left. Ha! Huh. 
right, down, up, down. Right, up, down, left, up, down. What? Right, down, up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, there's a missing one. I think. Is that a missing orb? So, so right... Right... Up... There was a missing orb. I never mind. I just <laughs> speaking of brute force, I brute forced my way to get the, the egg to get to the egg. So this was all pointless. I didn't need to do any of this. Left, left, down, up, right. Vinny, Joel is playing Fortnite. How do you feel about that? I've streamed that game a couple times. I played it. Um, I know he's doing it as a joke for the charity incentive. It, it's a fun game. <laughs> Aw, you got a friend request! Someone wrote, ugh. You didn't like hearing that, did you? You don't want to hear that Fortnite's a fun game. I haven't played it in a couple of years, but... Or maybe like a year and a half. But yeah, it was it was pretty addictive when I did play it. I just, um... I've talked about the Fortnite thing plenty of times. The thing I don't love about it... Is when I go to Wildwood and Fortnite is on like 30 shirts and hoodies and you know the dances and it's just like a as a game it's fun it's good to shoot and I know why people like it because it is fun to shoot but um, it's just like I look at it and I look at the, the stuff around it like, Fortnite culture. <laughs> and I'm just like, nah, I'm good, dog. But otherwise, yeah, I mean... I think I'm just too old. Then he go into the sh the spiny things? I don't know what you mean. I'm, I'm already, uh... The spiny things. Yeah, I mean, we... Thanos culture. We've already gotten through Thanos culture. Unless more Thanos movies are on the way, I don't- I don't know if they plan on resurrecting him. Thanosian philosophies, chat. Thanosian philosophies. Thanos always exists. I mean, it's just time travel. What the fuck are dimensions, anyway? When you have, um, a Marvel Universe with Doctor Strange in it... ...no one's ever really gone. vessel was brought here um, long ago. It is my duty as keeper to make sure it falls in the hands of the Chosen. That it's your possession, the ceremony can begin. You do realize what consequence will be, yes? No? That's alright. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Bring the vessel to the birthing hall.
Oh uh, yes, the birthing hall. For extended viewing, watch El Topo or Holy Mountain. Yeah, I do have the cube. Um, it's just, you know, trying to fucking remember where everything is. Anyone else get Blade Runner 2041? 2049? Sorry, not 2041. 2049 vibes from this stairway where the, the replicants would be above these light balls. They, they walk down, uh, K and, um, and boring villain. Someone in chat said, I'm watching that movie right now. There's the block. It's been placed. So it seems like there's more than one block. There there are several blocks. There's there are six blocks. So again, I'll spend as much time as I can with this, but I, if I don't finish it during Sunday stream, and I like it enough to come... <laughs> fuck you, game? You stain the dagger with your blood. The Crimson Offering welcomes the gifts to your world. Bloodborne vibes to the way this is presented. Not like the, you know, the same, um, what was I gonna say, aesthetic, but just like the presentation. Slightly. A little bit. If it were Bloodborne, you would need to eat it. Ugh. The white glow is simply blinding. You can barely make out a rhythmic wriggling in the center. Pure innocence. Oh, I like these colors. Wow. This whole area looks great. Light in hand, the gift was brought before the moon. It sought only to consume it. I'm so happy walking simulators look this good now. Even if things are just kind of simple textures and geometry, you can still have some really great lighting. It 
looks like how Mist wanted itself to look. Yeah. can deal with a little bit of Bappy Games puzzles, trust me. <laughs> You've seen the way I play Paper Mario. I fucking suck. Okay, now- okay, now it's not Bappy Games anymore. Now I have to figure out how to... Yeah, no, it still is. But yeah, it's it's I like this. I think this is cool. Blue now? Oh, there's blue chat. What what is blue? second. Okay. Higher yet, roots entombed, a tree whose leaves turn only for the moon. You know, who wrote this song about the moon? Fresh harvest, the leaves glow with the moon's concentrated essence. The tree was brought here by the divine. It was a source of subs uh, sustenance for the gift. Its leaves absorb the moon's glow. When, when did the Dark Crystal TV show air? Was that like a year ago? S seven months? Eight months? How long ago was that? A year? August 2019? Yep. Mm hmm. Mental. God, what a different, <laughs> what a different world we, we lived in a year ago. I thought it was, um, time's going by very quick. So, I, slow yet quick, but I thought it was, uh, for some reason, I thought it was like December. Or like the beginning of the year, where we were doing the Chamberlain's mm, every day. Just remember, time isn't after us, time isn't holding us. For you, I walk as the ground beneath me slips away. To you, I walk. What is this effect?
this is a weird kind of thing for me because I am excited to see new colors. I don't think a game has put me into a position of, I just can't wait to see what the next color scheme is. Ate, and I ate, and felt nothing. Top of ice cream. On the toilet. Almost asleep, the night consumed me, grew as I- and I grew, then felt everything. Chat, the Skunjili man is around the corner. <laughs> I know it. I know he's here. I know about the Squinjilly man. Film grain really adds to the um, the, the the feel of the lighting. It's a subtle film grain too. It's nothing too like annoying. It's used, I think, right. But uh, what is this room? Strange. I don't, I don't appear to be able to do anything. just had to do the ritual, of course. There is no pain, you are receding. This tunnel is freaking me out. <laughs> why is it... Why is it so... Why is it so good? Chat, for the record, it's not me making these noises. Just so we're clear. Not me. Still not me. Mr. Anderson, welcome to the Matrix. <laughs> this game is fucked up. <laughs> yeah, it's a little interstellary as well. This has got some cinematic qualities of, of a lot of things I like.
<laughs> Vinny, did you already watch Akira? I was on vacation. And I was, uh... Twenty sixty four. I mean, at this rate, I'll probably end up doing my whole Blade Runner commentary before then. No, I, I've decided, like, if I'm gonna do my incentives, I wanna do them after I get back from vacation. So, I'm gonna chip away at them. One red, two, I'm very confused. One minute of Akira a day for a decade? How the fuck long is that movie? Wrapped in a crystalline embrace, the chosen soul, a kaleidoscope dance. Three thousand six hundred and fifty minutes, apparently. So, like, a full season of Star Trek. Or a uh, series. Full series. Um... Yeah, I don't- I don't really get this puzzle. Vinny, I'm surprised you're putting off Akira when Ghost in the Shell is also down your alley. I'm not really putting it off, though. Like, I haven't done my other incentives, either. Also, I know Ghost in the Shell is apparently amazing. I'm aware. Why are you putting off watching the movie Holy Mountain, chat member? You heard me say a little while ago you should watch it. How come you're putting it off? <laughs> I'm very confused. White diagrams have pips that say their color. I know, I'm- I'm just, like, stupid. Uh, this is not working with my brain. So we know this one's yellow, right? Or, or, or it's blue. Wait, what? Was that not yellow a minute ago? No, this is blue. Okay, so blue... My, my brain, we're never gonna get past this. It's 
So there's an indication of something. So, so three. And left. What? Green equals one, red three, yellow two. Green. But... Chat? Some chat members are getting it. Some chat members are getting it. Um... I'm not. I'm still not. Gate shows how the dots equal the colors. The wall show what colors need. How many cubes are showing you the dots? I need to understand this. The color diagrams have pips around them. Match those pips with the ones on the colorless diagrams to find their color, and you'll see what you have to set that color to in the center of the diagram. Oh, right. That's red three. Red three. Yes. That's, um... Oh, jeez. Green one. So, red three, green one. I needed that spoiler. I was b brain dead for that. I was going, like, brain dead. Red three, standing by. So, so then this is... well, which one is that? That's three as well. Of... of what? Yellow? my favorite Pokemon. Oh, thank God. Uh, well, Jesus! Oh, this is fucking with my brain. And we had semi-clown music, too. <laughs> Just don't think about it too hard, chat. Closer yet, inward.
breadward. Closer yet, breadward. I don't know. Uh, this this is another this is another one of them puzzles, isn't it? Uh, oh. Yes. I wrote two songs about the moon in the past, but I could never finish them. So I tried to, like, put them together, and they were worse. Okay, as it was written in the pact on the eternal night when the moon is frozen in place, we open our doors to the wanderer. Through his flesh, the birth of my kind. Through our birth, the end of the eternal night. Me through you, through you become me. Do you accept your fate? Yeah, sure. When this is over, you will have no recollection of it happening. Your world will recover, and will know the sun's warmth once more. You've come a long way, and I know you are weary. Join me, Chosen, now. Peace and love. <laughs> Become. Oh, it hurts. 
Good noise, good noise. A little bit of bloodstained noises here. Did I win? Humanity is restored. I am Hugh. I am Locutus of Borg. Okay, I think there are multiple endings. I think. Uh, and also, we didn't get all the cubes. So, there's probably, like, other things to see in this game. The five cubes are hidden throughout the game and let you deny the end and get a different ending. If you collect them all, it's not worth the effort, smiley face, says a chat member. Well then. I, I feel pretty satisfied with the amount of trippy weird shit we just saw, so I'll leave it to you if anyone else wants to play this and find out more because it I really enjoyed looking at that game and there are some interesting story elements but uh, if you want to get the cube ending for yourself or maybe see some other stuff that I might have missed yeah it's interesting that reminds me of a couple other games I've played and I can't remember the names of them but similar types of story driven very minimal uh, games but pretty cool all right, we're going to take a quick break, everybody. And I will be back with the weird Japanese PS1 games. Stick around if you want. I'm going to play a song that I really, really enjoyed listening to while on my vacation. And which one am I doing? Not that one. That one's a good one, too. That one's a good one, too. Fuck it. We're going to do this one. <laughs> 